Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Black Bear, the fourth film directed by Lawrence Michael Levine, which premiered at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival in the next uh, sidebar. Uh, it will be released December 4th, 2020, courtesy of Momentum Pictures. Um, it was produced by Aubrey Plaza, who is also the star of the film, and I think in, is kind of in a career-making performance. Uh, it opens with Aubrey Plaza as a girl sitting, a, a woman sitting on a dock uh, that splits off in two distinct directions. Uh, she goes upstairs to uh, write in her notebook, uh, which is the first chapter of the film, The Bear in the Road. And then we learn that she is Allison, a uh, notable actress turned director who is off on a uh, creative retreat in the Adirondacks. Uh, through friends of a friend, she has discovered this secluded uh, place in the woods that is run by uh, Gabe, played by Christopher Abbott, and his uh, wife, uh, Blair, played by Sarah Gadon, who is two months, or is in her second trimester of a very troubled pregnancy. Uh, a lot of information is thrown, is thrown at us, uh, and it feels kind of like a very well executed, you know, Edward Albee play uh, as we get through particularly Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, of course, uh, as we really get into this needling, hostile um, relationship that is interrupted by this uh, third person uh, who brings out the worst in both members of this couple. Uh, so a, a night of uh, dinner and drinking becomes uh, goes out of control with uh, Allison and Gabe having sex, being discovered by uh, Blair and a potential miscarriage happening in an accident in the road uh, when Allison in a panic hits a black bear that's as the title of the segment promised, there'd be a bear in the middle of the road. Uh, we back up uh, to Aubrey Plaza again on a dock and here she again is Allison but she is the lead actress in a film being made in the same exact location where she's married to Gabe in this configuration, who is the film director, uh, who is manipulating her behind the scenes to get the performance that he wants. Uh, namely, he is playing uh, her against her co-star, Blair, Sarah Gadon, uh, by making insinuating that he's having an affair with her on set. It's rap day, tensions are high, um, Allison gets the message and decides to down most of a bottle of the liquor uh, before she has to uh, play the final dramatic scene and we kind of watch her um, unspool and then somehow put herself back together again in a role in a performance that's really reminiscent of something like Jenna Rollins and A Woman Under the Influence or Opening Night. Um, a grand, uh, intense, nuanced performance from Aubrey Plaza that I, I don't think we've ever, she's ever been allowed to uh, stretch that way. Um, and of course there is another iteration where in the final ending where there's a breaking of the fourth wall that seems to suggest that maybe she's been in control the whole time, this character. Uh, the film is dedicated to Sophia Tikal who is married to Lawrence Michael Levine. Tikal has directed a previous film like Green in 2011 which uh, she had mentioned was a kind of a uh, an exercise that helped work out some uh, own issues about jealousy in a relationship. Um, Levine also wrote Always Shine, which was to call his last film, which is a similar structured film in the sense that it's about two characters stuck in an isolated place and a shifting uh, dynamic and power structure as truths come out uh, behind the facade of uh, two women. Um, the initial discomfort of the film feels very much like early Polanski, like Knife in the Water, a third party introduced to this uh, couple where there's a, a power structure in place. Uh, there's, of course, the gender norms, man versus woman. Here we get into um, actor versus director uh, in, in a lot of ways that are very interesting. And the second part feels very much like, to me, like behind the scenes of a Polanski film, if you have uh, read about uh, the treatment of Faye Dunaway on the set of Chinatown, for instance. Um, but, but also in a way very much like a, a Ingmar Bergman psychodrama in a way of these shifting personas and configurations. Uh, the second half of the film is a little more jaunty, a little more, uh, a little more of a dark comedy as we get into uh, the other members of the film crew and having their own issues that uh, really uh, bring the energy up a notch along with Aubrey Plaza. Um, I think that the interpretation of several things uh, are, uh, it, 
ambiguous, open to interpretation. I, I think black bear, I, I, I think, is a can be interpreted as uh, a force of nature, the force of nature within all of us, our, our basic id. Uh, the chapter segments are, it's the black bear starts out in the road, it's by the shed, and then at the end we get the title sequence of the black bear being here, being uh, Aubrey Plaza, if you will. Um, or, or even a, a homonym, uh, uh, loads to bear uh, in a marriage, in uh, uh, Again, shifting power dynamics, um, kind of like the way I believe Yorgos Lanthimos was using the killing of a sacred deer as a potential homonym about what's going on in that film. Um, overall, I thought this was a, a complete surprise, uh, both for Aubrey Plaza uh, and Lawrence Michael Levine, whose last film was Wild Canaries, which is kind of a, a morbid comedy as well. Um, overall, I would give this four out of five stars. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.